Hello everybody, today we're going to learn the morning cars routine, which stands for controlled articular rotations. Controlled articular rotations take the joints that are connected through their articular path. So we're going to stand up nice and tall, chin is in line with our sternum and navel. So very good posture here, squeezing the fists. And we're squeezing and irradiating and we're trying to recruit all the muscles in the body at this time at about a 30% level. We're going to start squeezing the fists and we're going to do this very controlled and very slow. So we're going to get into our nice static position here. Squeeze about 30% effort, irradiate, kind of control the neck flexing down, rotate, bend into the side, look over the shoulder, look back to extension, look over the other shoulder, turn the head and neck, scrape the chin across the collarbone. One more rotation, squeeze the fists, bend, extend back, rotate, look over the other shoulder, and scrape the chin across the collarbone and down. Okay, we're gonna reset and we're gonna go the other way. If you went faster than me, you're going way too fast. Try to slow down, okay? Let's go the other way. Here we go. Squeeze the fists, get in your static position, flex the head down, rotate the other way, bend into the side, extend, chin goes up, drawing the circle back, rotate, looking over your shoulder, and then flex the chin across the collarbone. One more rotation. Bend, extend, rotate, bend, and flex down. So there's the cervical neck. Now we're going to get the thoracic spine. Or we went C7, C1 to C7. Now we're going T1 to T12, okay? So what we're gonna do is begin by giving yourself a hug to create a little bit more control. We're gonna tuck the chin in while we rotate just our upper back, okay? We're also gonna bend and we're gonna extend. We're not gonna use our lower lumbar and we're not gonna be moving our hips, okay? So we have to stay really controlled, spread the floor apart with the feet. I like a little bit wider stance here, or you can stand up nice and tall. From here, tuck the chin in. We're going to just try to keep the shoulders behind the hips as we flex down, rotate, bend, extend, rotate, bend, and then flex down to your starting position. And then one more circle, bend, extend, rotate, bend, and flex down. Now we're gonna go the other way. So reset, inhale, irradiate, chin tucks in, flex down, rotate, bend, extend back, rotate, bend, flex down. Keep rotating, one more circle, bend, extend, rotate, bend, and flex down. Okay, so that would be the thoracic spine. Now to finish the spine off, and get the lower lumbar involved, we're gonna go into the quadruped or tabletop position and round the back and tuck the chin. Posterior pelvic tilt, meaning that the hips sink forward instead of going up toward the sky. So the hips sink forward, head draws in, so you can look at your knees and really push into the ground with all 10 fingers, round the back and extend the toes into the ground so you have some good grip. So you're pushing the ground forward and pushing the ground back as you round the back. And then from here, hold. And then we're gonna to try to segment the vertebrae from the low back, from the low lumbar, which is your um, coccyx sacrum area, which are fused bones. Your tailbone would be the lowest end of that, which would be your coccyx. And then we're going to tilt or shift that hips and pelvis into that anterior pelvic tilt and then following that, we're gonna use our lower lumbar, thoracic, and then head, neck, and spine. So we're gonna start in that cat position. And we're gonna to try to go real slow here. Start in that cat, push into the ground. 
breathe deep here and exhale and then from here pull into the ground pelvic tilt and then let the belly follow toward the ground mid back drops segment one vertebrae at a time all the way from the t-spine all the way up to the cervical neck here so now we're in spinal extension and we're going to go from spinal extension to spinal flexion starting at the head and neck flexion cervical spine one to seven t-spine one t t1 uh, t to t12 and then lumbar L1 to L5, and then your sacrum and coccyx or your tailbone. Okay, so that would be the segmental cat cow or cat camel, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, we're going to go next with our glenohumeral. So our glenohumeral is the ball and socket joint or the humerus, which is attached to the scapula, clavicle, your, sh your shoulder girdle, which is um, held together by your... Um, Rotator cuff or the muscles that uh, make up the rotators your rhomboids are right in the middle But basically you have your rotator cuff, which is your humerus connected to your Clavicle and scapula and your rib cage. So a lot of stuff going on here And this has a lot of capacity as you can see There's a big circle that we're going to be creating. So we're going to really try to slow that circle down Okay so I'm gonna do this in a kneeling position. I'm gonna squeeze my fists, okay? And then from here, what I'm gonna do is same thing like I was doing with my neck car. I'm going to keep my body nice and uh, tight and strong. I'm gonna flex my shoulder, okay? So my shoulder's in flexion. Now notice that my elbow eye is between my bicep my forearm right here okay so this would be called my elbow eye this would be my elbow now imagine that elbow eye has an x on it so we're going to go into shoulder flexion squeeze this fist and then we're going to draw we're going to move that x toward the front so we're going to turn that elbow eye forward as we reach back keep turning that elbow eye down and then all the way into extension so the back of the hand is next to the side and then from here extension unwind the elbow eye so the elbow eye should be facing back now and then all the way up forward and down okay one more rotation flexion elbow eye goes forward as you rotate back of the hand next to the side as you come around and then extension unwind all the way up across the body and down okay shoulders next other side flexion elbow eye turns forward reach back keep turning that elbow eye back back of the hand next to the side extension unwind go all the way back across the body and down one more flexion elbow eye turns forward keep rotating and extension and extension unwind all the way out cross and down okay now the scapula up forward back and down okay the scapula protracts retracts elevates and depresses uh, the shoulder shoulder girdle here so we're gonna bring our hands next to our sides pretend that you have a hundred dollars stacked here and we're keeping it glued to our body we're gonna go up forward down back up forward down now try to keep your elbows tight here up back down forward up back down now let's go back and up forward and down back up forward and down and then try that out in front of the body not in front of the shoulders, just about 10 degrees out, and just try to make those circles without bending the elbow. So keep the elbow straight. Try not to use your neck. Good challenge, okay? Now we're gonna get our elbow. 
So we'll extend our elbow first, palms face forward, and then we're going to just mainly irradiate in the biceps and triceps here. Really squeeze and then bend everything. Remember that irradiation throughout the whole body, 30%. You can kneel or stand like I'm doing here. And then we're gonna turn the palm face down and push down. And then we're gonna open it back up, supinate, flex, pronate, and extend. And then flex again, supinate, extend, pronate, flex, supinate, extend, okay? So now we'll get the wrist, we'll extend the wrist first in supination, and then we'll adduct or draw those pinkies toward each other, and then the middle fingers will go up toward the sky, and then out, draw that circle around and out and down, in, in and up, up, up and out, out, out and down. Let's go the other way, all the way up, in, in and down, out, up, in, in and down, and then squeeze the fist and try the same thing. One way, one way, one way, the other way. All right, so that would be the wrist, elbows, glottohumeral, scapula, T-spine, neck, and we also got the low spine. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the hip. We're gonna do these standing. Find a wall that you can push into. And then what we're gonna do is on that same sided, um, or the, the, the hip that's closest to the wall, we're gonna utilize and we're gonna squeeze opposite fists. And we're gonna keep this leg nice and straight. From here, what I want you to do is just, I want you to cross the leg to start. And then I want you to sweep that heel all the way up to the opposite hip and hold here. And then from here, I want you to try to get that knee as high as you can in the air, and then bring the foot underneath the knee. And then we're gonna sweep that knee outward, open the hip, and then from here, we're gonna bring the knee down as the foot goes up. And then we're gonna sweep a circle around into hip extension, and then we're gonna place the back knee next to the front knee. And then we're gonna reverse it. Extend back, keep the knee flexed, squeeze this fist, open up the hip, externally rotate and abduct and flex the hip as you sweep the knee forward and cross the foot across the body. One more, open up the hip, Knee drops down as the foot goes up. Extend and sweep that knee back. Knee touches knee, keep the knee flexed. Keep this fist squeezing here, extend back. Open up the hip. Knee is high, foot is high. Sweep it across and down. We'll go ahead and get the other side. Cross the leg, let it go up, as high as it'll go. Foot goes underneath the knee, sweep the hip open. Knee goes down as the foot drops, or the foot goes up, sweep the hip back. From here, keep the knee bent, extend back, open up the hip. Knee goes up toward that hand, and sweep it across and now we're going to start again sweep that foot all the way up toward the opposite hip try to touch the opposite hip and then bring that knee up open it up draw that knee down as the foot goes up sweep it back hold here and then draw it back extend try not to hyper extend the lower back open it up Externally rotate, knee touches the ceiling here, and bring it down. All right, for the knee, we're also gonna do that standing as well. So we're just gonna you know, lean into a wall, um, and we're gonna use the same 
foot on the same side here, the closest to the wall. So all we're gonna do first is just bend the knee, give you this angle too, and then turn the foot out and then extend the knee, okay? So you can push into a wall like this or you can go like this. So we're gonna bend the knee, turn it out, extend. Turn the foot in, bend, turn the foot out, extend. Foot goes in, tibial rotation, flexion, tibial external rotation, extension. Now we're just gonna flex, internally rotate, extend. Externally rotate, flex, internally rotate, extend. And switch. Begin by bending the knee, turning the foot out, tibial external rotation, try to get the knee next to the other knee, try to stand up tall. You might notice your hamstring firing here. And then extend, turn the foot in, and bend the knee all the way. Turn the foot out, extend, turn the foot in, bend, now hold it here. We're going to externally rotate, extend, Internally rotate, bend. Externally rotate, extend, in, and bend, okay? For our ankles, same thing. Push into the wall, point the foot down, and we'll um, let those pinkies go to the outside, and then toes will go up toward the sky, and then turn the foot down, and out and all the way down. Okay, all the way out, up, all the way in, and down. All the way out, up, in, and down. We'll go the other way. Keep the body tight. Down and in, in and up, up and out, out and down. All the way in and up, all the way up, up and out, out and down. Switch side. Point the foot down, down and in, in and up, up and out, out and down. Down and in, in and up, all the way up, all the way out, all the way down. Down and out, up, in, in all the way down, out, up, all the way up, in, in, all the way down, okay? Now we're gonna get the patella or the kneecap. This one we actually don't need to be irradiating, so we actually want this leg to be totally relaxed. So that's why I'm gonna lean against the wall, and this leg is gonna take all the weight, and I'll be able to push that patella up and down. And then I can push it side to side. Now, if this doesn't work for you, you can also go onto the ground like this and do the same thing, okay? So I'm just gonna move that patella in a 360 degree circle, checking for any pain, seeing how it feels, making sure it's moving. It should rotate all the way around. And you just want to know if there's any cracking, any pain, or if there's any sticky parts. Okay, let's go ahead and switch. Sticky, I mean if it's tight or if um, you can't get it to move in an area. If it moves too much, um, then you might need to focus on the muscles around it and strengthening it, or that in general, more knee exercises that have load, that might be, you might be maybe passively pushing them too far, um, but that's something that only your doctor can recommend. So that would be the patella. Now we'll end with our toes. We'll start bringing all 10 toes off the ground and we're going to try to separate all 10 toes. So we're abducting the toes and we're trying to extend the toes. Now from here, we're going to flex or squeeze the ground with our toes. Squeeze the ground with the toes. Use all your muscles here and then everything up. Try to keep the front of the foot in the middle and on the outer uh, sides of the foot on the ground and then also the heel down. So all 10 toes up, separate the toes, hold it here 
and then squeeze the toes into the ground. And from here, all 10 toes up. And we're gonna piano them down, pinky the big toe. Do that two more times. And now we're gonna try to see if we can get just the big toe down five times without moving any other toes. So all toes up, then tap once, two, three, four, five. Good. All right, so that's gonna be your uh, morning cars routine that you should hopefully attempt in the morning because after you've been sleeping for a long time, um, your body needs to move. And the first thing you do in the morning is just really assess where your body is at. These cars will help maintain the current capacity that you currently have and also be a great uh, assessment for um, what selective exercises you should do during that day. Or basically if, if, it, you know, if you can't really form a circle, then maybe focus on 20, 30, 40, 50 um, shoulder circles a day, you know, really trying to get that capacity back. And then also learning about the pals and rails and all the other isometric exercises with FRS. All right, thanks a lot, everybody.